nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning guys. How's everybody doing this fine Saturday morning? I am doing fantastic. Yeah, I'm sitting there still at the truck stop. As you can maybe see, we got in a little bit of rain overnight it looks like. Yeah, so we might, <coughs> excuse me, have to drive in a little bit of a, on a wet road. It's not raining right now, but it has definitely rained overnight. I yeah, already finished my logbook and a little bit of cereal this morning to eat, and uh, now we're ready to go. Pretty much. Yeah. I'm just being lazy today and yesterday. Well, yesterday I didn't really feel like driving too much, but uh, yeah, we got about 720 kilometers each day today and tomorrow, and we'll be over there, so 450 miles. So each day so anyways let's get out of here here we go guys let's get out of here let's see if we can find ourselves an exit to get out of here I know there's one over there but I'm parked this way so I gotta go see if there is an exit over here or not it almost looks like you should be able to go around like that go out yep that's what it appears to be it's not a bad sized truck stop over here you know fairly nice sized truck stop that's for sure yeah they got a mcdonald's uh over there when you pull into the truck stop <clears throat> not that i care too much for mcdonald's but maybe trucker jukebox would like it no, I'm just kidding, Jukebox. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's get out of here and get, get back on the big highway. Get some more miles behind us. We got a nice fair sized shop over here, too. I don't know what this guy is planning on doing. Look before you make your decision there, buddy. He keeps driving and looking that way, so all right. I guess he wants to uh, go into that fuel island over there. Yeah, back to the 75. You gotta make a right hand turn. All right. We'll go ahead and do that. After we make our stop. <clears throat> Doesn't say anything that I can't make a right hand turn on red, man. Right? Nope. So. In 0 0.2 miles, take the entrance to the left on I 75 South. What are you guys up to this weekend? Are you guys having any big plans for this weekend? Let me know down in the comments there down below. In the comment section. Oh, it looks like they got some bad in construction 600 up feet, there. Take the entrance to the left on I-75 South. There. Luckily, I'm not going north. I'm going southbound. <clears throat> yeah, they got a loves across the street here as well. Way station ahead. Way station ahead. All right. Oh, it looks like even there at the hotel or whatever that is, there's a few trucks in there. So, let's go see if our chicken coop will be open today. I don't think so, it's Saturday, but then again, you never know, right? Mm. Wow, that hotel actually looks like that's an abandoned hotel. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything in there anymore. <clears throat> My trucks find a way to park in there, so that's good. Yeah, they 
got a little bit of construction on this side too, but at least it's not a backup over here, it looks like. So that's come on down the road with me and look out of the window and see what I see. I guess maybe in the corner you can see me as well, but whatever I'm doing. But, uh, Continue on this road for 105 miles. Let's have ourselves a fantastic weekend together. So let's go. Well guys, we are coming into Dayton, Ohio. Yeah, they got the stretch under construction up here. Look at that. Uh, I don't know what they call that. He's digging up some dirt out of that lake out of there. But uh, yeah. Anyways, we're just cruising along here. And uh, I got a request to do a shout out. Yeah. We do like to give shout outs every once in a while. And if you want to get a shout out, just shoot me a message or whatever. I'll give you a shout out. Yep. And the shout out today goes out to Ike Reedy, I think that's name is R E E D Y or you whatever that the uh, yeah. I think they call him Reedy. Reedy. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Forgive me if I'm not I may not be good at pronouncing your name, but we will try and give you a shout out no matter what. Yeah. I've been here in Dayton, uh, Ohio many times before. Continue on this road for 20 miles. And it's always under construction up here, it seems like. But they're getting it done. They're getting it done. Yeah. Well, we will be going to Nashville today. Nashville, Tennessee, I think. Where all the musicians are. We'll be going through there today, later on today in the day. Yep. Well, it seems like it's uh, getting more cloudier up there again. We got a little bit of a shower earlier. We had a little bit of a truck wash. I just got my windshield fairly clean. Then, let's continue on cruising along. And well, guys, it looks like uh, we are in Connecticut, Ohio. In a little bit, we will be entering Ohio. Yeah, and this uh, memory serves me, uh, serves me right. You gotta go underneath a bridge or whatever that is. There's a bridge on top of a bridge or something like that. If memory serves me right, we'll see about that, right? But first, we gotta get there. We got another uh, yeah, three kilometers, or something like that, so two miles before we should get there uh, Lexington and Louis Louisville Kentucky, in a quarter Louisville. mile keep to the right on I-71 yeah. south I-75 south oh, look at them big high rise buildings up there I love big cities I love the big high rise buildings and stuff like that that's gorgeous to me that's just absolutely continue on beautiful. this road for 7 miles yeah, here we go. Should be seeing the bridge here pretty soon. Yep, I don't remember going this way before, but I've always come this way, so. Yeah, that's how I'll look and see if I'm correct or wrong or wrong or right. Yeah, I think this is a different bridge, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's definitely a different bridge, that's for sure. I don't know, maybe depending on which way you come, maybe you go underneath this bridge there when you go the other way, I don't know. Well, it almost looks like it, but yeah, because this, uh, this lane only goes one way, so yeah, it must be down there then, then. Yeah, that's probably why I was thinking that. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense now. Crossing border, entering Kentucky. There you go. There you have it. We are officially in Kentucky. Kentucky. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Kentucky. Yeah. Trucks use right two lanes. Okay. We'll try and do that then. 
anyways, it's been a good day. It's Saturday and we're rolling. We're working hard, pretending anyways. Speed warning. Yep. It has been drizzling on and off here every once in a while. There before when I had my camera on, as soon as I turned it on, like two minutes after that, uh, two minutes after I turned it off, I meant to say, is when it actually started raining again, you know? Yeah. Pretty soon it's not gonna be rain anymore. Pretty soon it's gonna be that white stuff. If you know what I'm talking about. Snow. Yeah. Pretty soon that will be that. All right, let's continue on rolling. Probably have to stop here somewhere soon. Maybe. We'll see on what I decide. Well, guys, here we go. We are finally, uh, we just finally left the uh, pilot. We had ourselves a little bit of a pit stop. <clears throat> Had to go and uh, have my half an hour break. Have me a bite to eat. No, we're on our way. Yeah. Construction ahead. Construction ahead, construction ahead. It goes like that every few minutes. I don't know why. They got so much more construction on this 71, it's unbelievable. But as you can see, it's drizzling. Yeah. But that's okay. We gotta continue on no matter what. Anyways, it's a little hilly up here as you can probably see. So let's put the hammer down and uh, see how far we can get it, right? Here we are, guys, entering a Tennessee. That chicken house was closed today. Yeah. I am almost done with my day today. I could probably only drive another 30 miles and uh, I would be halfway to where I need to be. I would have my 450 miles in today. But half an hour, a little half more than half an hour and I should be done. Because I only got like 491 miles to go right now, so if I can do another 30 miles or 40 miles, I could be done. I'd be halfway. That's right. But we'll see. We'll see until where I will go. I don't know. I might just continue on a little further. I don't know for sure, but I think if I go a little further, I think I'll be going into Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm not sure if I want to do that. I don't think that I want to go into Nashville. Pretty busy place in Nashville. Wouldn't mind though going through Nashville. That way I wouldn't have to deal with traffic tomorrow. But right now it's probably traffic. You know, it's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So we'll see what we'll decide on yet. But... The sun is finally starting to peek out. And guess what? We see some green grass up here yet. That's amazing. And it's plus 24 Celsius right now. That's just amazing. Believing. Unbelieving. Beautiful. Gorgeous temperatures. I could actually walk outside with a shirt, t-shirt, and shorts on probably. It would be comfortable. I bet it would be. Oh yeah! It's been a good day though. I haven't had any uh, problems. None whatsoever, so that's always good. You know, trucking is not always perfect, you know, so... Sometimes you run into a little snag here and there. And as you have seen me this last week, it's sometimes it's challenging. And getting the load where you want to go or getting the decent miles or sometimes it's uh, the drivers out here giving us a hard time and next time it's truck problems and, or this or that you know it's not a perfect world in trucking well it says 32 miles to Nashville so, uh, so yeah I probably would go through 
to Nashville then. Because it's, uh, I would like to go a little more than 32 miles, so maybe I'll be on the south side of Nashville. I think there's a TA just south of uh, Nashville, Tennessee. So, uh, we'll definitely try and go to Nashville then. At least we'll have that behind us and then uh, we can continue tomorrow, right? Yeah. That's right. Purple. You see it at the truck shows, out there on the open road, even in the driveway at his house. Johnny keeps it spit shine, shining on it all the time He wants it looking good when he goes out but Why do people laugh at him and shake their head when he pulls in the parking lot? He's just another trucker man, trying his best to fit right in, but fit or not He drives a roll purple Peterbilt and he don't care how people feel about it Cause that old purple Peterbilt looks so good it makes him feel so proud of it Some drivers call him sissy man but he don't let it get to him he'll shout it He drives a old purple Peterbilt and he don't care how people feel about it Yeah He'd have a green one, although he's never seen one that looks as good as what he's got right now. Black might look more manly, or red like Christmas candy might help his clearance lights and chrome stand out. Then maybe that would be enough to end the jokes about his truck from all his friends. But he'll live with the teasing, cause he ain't out for pleasing the one but him. He drives a roll purple Peterbilt and he don't care how people feel about it. Cause that roll purple Peterbilt looks so good it makes him feel so proud of it. Some drivers call him sissy man but he don't let it get to him he'll shout it. He drives a roll purple Peterbilt and he don't care how people feel about it. You know, there's a lot of truck drivers out there on the road. And just like Johnny, a purple truck is their second home. And they'll be the first to tell you, son, you better leave old Johnny alone. He drives a roll purple Peterbilt, and he don't care how people feel about it. Cause that roll purple Peterbilt looks so good it makes him feel so proud of it. Some drivers call him sissy man, but he don't let it get to him, he'll shout it. He drives a roll purple Peterbilt, and he don't care how people feel about it. Yeah, he drives a roll purple Peterbilt, and he don't care how people feel about it. It takes a real man to have a guest to drive a purple truck like that. Hey, don't make fun of that purple truck. Just look at them lime green ones. I wouldn't make fun of that banana looking yellow truck over there. But what about that baby blue? Well, guys, we've been stopped for several hours already. I put a video together and I actually went and watched a video, a movie actually on Netflix. Yeah, I do have a Netflix account, so sometimes I go out and watch a movie. We got the Wi Fi system over there, you know, so you can sit back and relax sometimes and watch a movie. Yeah, it's a fairly small uh, pilot truck stop up here, so not much action going on up here which is kind of nice, it's nice and quiet. 
but we are uh, very close to the uh, Alabama state line yeah I'm in Tennessee right now yep but we had ourselves a fantastic day we only have a short shorter day well not a super short day but only have 400 miles to go for tomorrow so anyways that's about all I got so we'll uh, see what we can come up with tomorrow so stick around and you will see me again tomorrow thanks for watching behind me that day is gonna come I'm breaking the wall